JT and your song, welcome back. Day two, all about vegetables. Just to recap on this habit, it's about trying to eat five fists of vegetables a day. And remember, if you're struggling for five and it's unrealistic for you at the moment, aim for three fists of vegetables a day. So today we're going to deep dive a little bit further into our vegetable habit and try and dissect different ways of cooking and what we can do moving forward. So... In order to be successful with this habit, we need to have vegetables in the house. Dun, dun, dun. Revelation, I know. So the more, so we need to go to the shops. And when we go to the shop, obviously we need to look for all our vegetables. We've got a big long list that we're going to go through today of vegetables that you should potentially be buying. We need to go to the shops. A uh, little expert tip is to when you come back, chop, cut, wash, dice before you put them in the fridge. If they're already chopped up and ready to go, you're more likely to throw them into that omelette when you're rushed on the morning. So pre-prepping your vegetables before they go into the fridge is an awesome way of going. So chop up those peppers, I pop them in a little Tupperware and I put them in the fridge already ready to go. That's my expert tip for you. Before you do anything, chop them up, then pop them in the fridge as opposed to putting whole veg into the fridge. Okay. Um, the more work you do up front, the more likely you are to eat them, so, which is exactly what I just said, basically. So the more work you put up front in terms of preparation, the more likely you are just to throw those vegetables into that omelette really, really quickly, really, really easily, first thing in the morning, and then instantly you've got one fist of vegetables straight away as your day starts. Okay, good. So we're going to look at different ways of cooking today, cooking these vegetables to make them tasty, because I know not everybody's a fan of vegetables, and they can be particularly bitter for a lot of us as well to start with, and it's struggle to, not very really palatable, especially your kale. Kale's bitter, unless it's cooked dry, which we're going to go through in a second. Okay, so vegetables that taste good raw. Move over so you guys can see. So leafy green vegetables, all the stuff that you would put into a salad tastes phenomenal raw. So your salad leaves, definitely get some of those. You can get a bag of salad, you can whack that in the fridge and all of a sudden you've got your salad there. Put chop some tomatoes, cucumber, throw those in also. And then all of a sudden you've got healthy salad, pull some extra virgin olive oil and some balsamic and squeeze a lemon in there and then it's going to taste phenomenal, potentially with a pinch of salt as well. Mm. Okay, peppers, carrots. Green beans, tomatoes, red onions, radishes, snap peas, sprouts, all those guys taste amazing raw, right? So they are your raw go-to. So if you're eating on the go and you're wandering around and you're getting caught short, these are the vegetables to go for. So I'll move out shots so you guys can see again, struggling for space today. So leafy greens, peppers, carrots, green beans, tomatoes, red onions, radishes, snap peas, sprouts. It's not an exhaustive list, but it definitely should be on there. So carrots and hummus, carrots and guacamole, celery, and hummus, celery and peanut butter, phenomenal little snacks that you can take away with you and it's gonna to help towards your five a day. So think raw veg, definitely phenomenal thing to have in the diet and it's obviously not been disturbed as well, so it's very high in nutrients. Definitely worth a shout in your arsenal for success with this habit, five fists. Okay, so veg that is great for cooking. So we're up in this top corner now over here. So all cruciferous vegetables, your broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, all those guys are amazing for cooking. Uh, asparagus, aubergines, carrots, again, great. So carrots and red onion, dice those guys together, a little bit of salt and pepper, put them in a tray, put them in the oven and roast them. You literally will never taste anything like it. It tastes phenomenal. That's carrots and red onions, diced together, a bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of oil, amazing. Um, mushrooms, onions, peas, peppers, all potatoes, as we know, we've got white potatoes, sweet potatoes, every kind of potato is really good when cooked. Um, your yellow squash and your courgettes as well. So cooking vegetables is going to bring out the natural sugars and starches, which is going to make it really, really tasty. So if you're not a fan of vegetables and find them bitter, cooking is going to reduce that bitter taste, increase the sugar taste, and you're going to get a much more palatable um, portion of vegetables. Um, especially with kale as well, as you can imagine. It's so bitter, you cook that through and then it'll taste amazing. Uh, okay, so looking for, with regard to this, uh, with regard to your cooking vegetables that we just spoke about, look for pre-chopped and frozen kinds. I know it sounds like cheating, but we're thinking level one nutrition at the moment. Most of them are frozen at the sauce um, and they're just really easy. You just go into the chest freezer or freezer or whatever, just put them in the pan um, or put them on the tray and then a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, 
uh, avocado oil for us because we're cooking at high temperatures. Um, a little bit of salt and pepper, throw them in, amazing, very, very quick to cook. All of a sudden you've got a massive portion of vegetables that you can have over the next couple of days. Um, look for the pre-frozen cans, I said, and then you can skip the prep and drop them directly in the pan, exactly as I just said before. So here's three awesome ways to cook vegetables. We're in the middle now. So roasting. So if you're not a fan of vegetables, roasting and what we say caramelizing is gonna give you unbelievable flavor to that vegetable. Be generous with the salt and the pepper, stir them through, get them cooked through. You can get some real taste. And you think like your roasted vegetables at Christmas dinner, how nice does that taste? You can do similar year round, year round. Just get your vegetables in and give them a roasting. Uh, sauteing as well, so getting them and, and shallow frying, sauteing. It's a little bit of oil, salt, pepper, garlic potentially as well. You can really bring some flavour through on these. Or cooking a little bit of vegetable stock with a squeeze of lemon juice. You're gonna, you can really bring out some of the some of the flavours in this and make your vegetables taste unbelievable with just a tiny bit. I wouldn't even say skill; it's knowledge really. Um, steaming vegetables, so steaming is for the extremely health conscious because obviously with the steaming, it's literally water. So you're going to need a steamer of some sort. You can get like a steamer pan, which has got an, um, a water base and then you put your vegetables over the top or you can actually buy a steamer itself. And obviously that's the least calorific, not that we need to be worrying too much about um, the calories in vegetables at level one nutrition, to be honest. If you're eating vegetables, we've just got to celebrate that. That's amazing, well done. Um, but steaming is, again, ideal for frozen vegetables. You need a steamer. So you cook them through, fork the center till it's soft all the way through, soft through the center so you can pierce through the center. You'll know it'll feel really hard if it's not cooked. And then you transfer them to a plate or bowl and then you can add your spices, your salt, your pepper, um, oregano and then you've got a big massive serving and then those guys can just go in the fridge and again you get two or three days out of those so that is today's lesson keep cracking keep trying to figure out ways that you can put five fists of vegetable into your diet throw your spinach into your super shake there's loads of little ways to sneak them in have a think and i'll see you guys tomorrow for another lesson